Hello, everybody. Everybody to here. Well, it's, it's great to be here. It's kind of awkward, you know, celebrating a birthday. Uh, I wish John Lennon was here. Uh, you know, we don't know what happens to you after you die, how bad death is. But, and you try to think, what could be worse? You know, uh, what could be good about death as opposed to life? And one thing I think is if, when you're dead, you don't have to listen to people singing happy birthday to you. <laughs> the, the worst song ever, you know, you just gotta sit there, you know, feel like nuts, you know, like blow out the candles and that. I think when, after you know what happens if you happen to get into heaven, first thing is they, they come to you, and they, they give you this box, and they say, now that you've lost your life, you get to have back everything you lost during life. And it's full of like gloves, keys, scarves, umbrellas. I said, John Lennon made a box, a shoebox to give. He goes, that's it. And they said, no, no, behind them is another big box. They said, this is just the gu guitar picks. Some people. You know, they think like these nuts, these, uh, what do you call it, martyrs, you know, to think they're going to be rewarded for, you know, what doing the crazy stuff they do. They think 72 dark-eyed virgins could be waiting for them in the paradise. And, you know, you can't talk religion with these people, you know. But I think you could try to talk to them human to human, like man to man, you know, and say, 72? <laughs> Isn't that a little unmanageable? <laughs> you know, hey, you know. And nothing, I said, look at it this way. 72 dark eyes are 365 days a year. That's like, every three days it's one of their birthdays. <laughs> Here, happy birthday, do it twice. That's paradise? I don't think so. <laughs> and also, you know, if it only says, 72 dark-eyed virgins, it's pretty vague. I mean, you could end up with 72 dark-eyed 80-year-old nuns. <laughs> what could be worse, huh? To be, what, they're like 18 years old, these guys. 18 years old in paradise with 72 women who aren't even your same religion. <laughs> what could be worse than that, Abdul, huh? You know, they say, is there light at the end of the tunnel? I think at the end of the tunnel there's a bucket. <laughs> and a mirror and a door that says paradise must have dry hair to enter. <laughs> and the bucket is full of all the tears that you caused during your life. You know? Everything you did bad to people, that's in the bucket. And we all have to put our head in the bucket for five minutes. <laughs> Most people, you know, just come up with wet hair. But some people, imagine these martyrs, you know, their last words are bubbles. <laughs> like 72 bubbles, you know. And, and how about this guy that murdered John Lennon? Can you, yeah. how many tears shed for John Lennon? Wow. You know, I mean, a lake full of tears, you know. And they would be dragging the leg for that, that nut. Anyway, most people, though, they lift their heads up, they have wet hair, and then you have to stand in front of the mirror, look at yourself, and wait for your hair to dry. <laughs> and your hair dries according to the temperature in the room, which is determined by the heat that comes from the mirror, which reflects all the goodness and the good things you did, the happiness and joy you brought to people is the opposite of the bucket. So some people are there, maybe just, you know, two hours, you know, and it's dry. Other people, maybe days, you know, they, three days they go, it's almost dry. You know. But John Lynn, imagine. All, all he is done, he give peace and everything, you know. You know, once he lifts his head up from the bucket, he's in front of the mirror for like 
half a second, and he's in the door. We don't want the revolution, you know. We all want to change the world. But if you go talking about destruction, don't you know you can count me in the town where I was born? There's a man who sailed the sea, and he tells me, Hey Jude, do you want to know the secret? Do you promise not to tell? Eleanor Rigby used to be mad at my school. The teachers then taught me word Desmond, Vera, Chuck, and I am you, and you are me, and we are all together in the yellow submarine. <laughs> Michel Martin, alone on the hill, picking the rest from the church where the weddings have been. Hard days and night, suddenly, I want to hold your help. I want to hold your, I need somebody. I want to hold your 